leaving my safe harbor. Drop down to 0.3 knots. This is not a fun cut right now. We pretty much started losing the wind as we went through Dotham Cut. We're gonna take down the sails because we're going still a knot in the wrong direction. We're going to drop the dinghy. We decided to see the world by sailboat. We sailed from the Great Lakes of Canada and made it to the Bahamas where the unexpected happened. Not able to start the engine. Let's go! It was a very calm morning at Black Cay and the Exumas. We really didn't want to leave the Bahamas, but with the stricter rules and no engine, it was time to move on. So on this April 16th, 2020, we got Wally Intrepid ready to set sail. The lack of waves made it easy to pull anchor. sad that we're leaving Blackie. That was like our home for three weeks or more. It's kind of it's weird. It just feels weird. It feels like I'm just leaving my safe harbor. It's really calm and beautiful. We're leaving at sunrise so this is kind of nice. Our buddy boat sailing Vinyasa took the lead out of Black Cut and out into the Exuma Sound. carry five knots. We're going downwind so it's going to be pretty difficult to stay the right speed that we need to go just to get to the cut in time. And right now we're going a whopping four knots, about double what we were just going two seconds ago. Since the wind is being pretty contrary and we need to go directly downwind, we're getting about half the wind we need to keep up a good pace. Alex is up front setting up the Jinnaker. So we're going to do some Jinnaker sailing. It should be pretty fun. The first time we took it out since um, leaving Bimini.
Yesterday was a day of negativity. Today is hoping, trying to change our, our mindset and be more positive and be in a happier mood. We're out sailing, a wonderful day, nice and calm with the spinnaker up. I was a little bit unsure if we were gonna make it to Galliot Cut, which was our first cut that we were gonna try to enter. But that's okay because if we don't make it to that cut, we can still enter in over at Black Point and we'll be maybe a little early, which is always good because right now we're a little off the wind on a downwind angle to keep good speed rather than being directly downwind. And the Jinnaker seems to like that anyway. But yeah, today is beautiful, so we're gonna try to stay high spirits. We're doing some fishing. Ideally, we'll catch a fish, but we are going a bit slow to be able to catch a fish right now. At least we're allowed to go home, or at least we're allowed to leave the country. There's other people that are a lot less fortunate than us that are essentially stuck in place and don't really know, don't really have any plans for their future because they don't know what they can do. We at least can see a few months into our future and kind of have a look into the future. No, but we at least know that there's, you know, possibilities or there's an exit plan for us, at least in the short term. It may not be the plan we wanted, but it's a plan nonetheless. <laughs> Very bossy. Perfect. That's so cool. She did Titanic st style on the bowsprit. Six knots of wind. I don't, I don't know what's uh, <laughs> I mean, we can do better cutting, but we're just gonna have to really try to. The difference between having a kite and having no kite on a low wind it's a day. Yeah. It's kind of crazy how in five, six knots of wind, we can do four <laughs> knots with the jet anchor. I kind of love our boat when it's light uh, wind sailing because we are a really light boat, so we actually keep moving. But then when it's tough condition, really rough seas, we're not as good because we're too light. Can't really win, eh? This is how you cool down during a downwind sail kind of day in tropical weather. Got social distancing music going on right now. Well, it's easy to get caught up in your own thoughts and be negative. 
But I don't know, this spot here on the bow, it's really hard not to just enjoy your life in these super calm conditions with the spinnaker flying, moving three to five knots max, and you're just kind of floating over the water and all you hear is the water and the spinnaker flapping. It's really peaceful and kind of mellows you out after you've had a hard couple days. All right, are you ready? That's fine. Perfect, well done. Good job, Sudi. To get a couple of the lines out, you couldn't have pulled the jib out the one. Oh, okay. Because there was a couple lines like wrap around, you know. We've been sailing for nine hours. We've gone an average of four whole knots. And we made it to Doltum Cut. We decided to skip the other two cuts because we weren't making it there for the high tide or low tide, which is when you want to enter the cut to avoid too much current. Now we're tacking our way into the cut while all these other sailboats are motoring in. So it always feels pretty good. Supposedly there was a little bit of uh, chatter on the radio on the channel down from where us and our buddy boat are chatting. Supposedly we looked like we had ran aground because we weren't moving very fast. Yeah, it was just entertaining because I mean they are sailboats They could be sailing as well and honestly they're only going maybe a knot faster than us with their engines So I, I just don't see the need and right now the winds picking up Which is perfect because we need as much wind as we can because it looks like we're gonna have to tack our way through this cut Interesting current here, that's for sure. Luckily we came in coming in at slack tide, or this would be gnarly. There's still enough current for us to go down from like three to four knots down to one knot. We barely have steerage. Luckily if we did get caught, we could just flick back out. But it looks like we're past it now because we're going about two knots again. But there was a crazy wall of current right there. You guys are scaring me there for a minute. At our angle, it looks like you're really close to that starboard side of the channel. We are going the Well, just when I thought we had, we were out of the current, we were picking up speed again, we hit another wall. We dropped down to 0.3 knots and stayed between the 0.5 and 0.3 for another, I don't know, 100, me 100, 100 feet or so. Now it maybe looks like it's coming back up, but man, this is not a fun cut right now. Well, this turns into a really, really, really long day. We pretty much started losing the wind as we went through Dotham Cut, and the current was pretty much against us, so we slowly made our way out of it at a whooping one to two knots. Ew. And we did so many attacks back and forth, it's incredible. And now we're trying to make it into Black Point, but we had to go way out west to then start going south, to then go east, so we might make it before sunset. 
We got across the cut two and a half hours ago and I can still see the cut. It's like right in front of me. So as you can see, we are now ha we now have essentially zero wind and our last hack was probably the last hack where we're gonna be able to do because we're going less than a knot and it's very difficult to tack when you're going only a knot. And our angle is actually, we're losing ground. We're not even going like 180, which would be a terrible tack angle. We're actually going past 180 and going back downwind when we're trying to go into the wind. It's very irritating, especially since we're just trying to get there. We're like this last, these last three hours have been just struggling with the lack of wind and the wind direction. And I mean, at least now we're not in the cut, but geez, this could not go any worse. So I'm going, we're gonna take down the sails because we're going still a knot in the wrong direction. And we're going to drop the dinghy. And I'm gonna actually probably just for fun, try to row us and see how fast I can get us going. And then I'm probably gonna put the motor on the dinghy and actually dinghy us over because this is ridiculous. Do you see our little anchor inspector? Just making sure it's well set. Alright, now it's time to get this dinghy down so we can get into our anchorage. Just talking to the, the camera. To our YouTubers. YouTube. Going somewhere. High speed. It's been such a long day. We pretty much left at sunrise and just made it at sunset. And it's surprising how the dinghy actually managed to tow the boat. Like Cory by himself was going, I think the fastest he did was like 2.7 knots and that wasn't with uh, pushing the engine. 
And then Cody came and then we're doing like 4.1 with the two of them. Nuts! We just decided to, um, well, they were walking on the dock, so like, well, then we can probably walk on the dock too. So we just grabbed our shoes, walked up a little bit, but we can at least get water. Sweet. Um, and then they had this little window of ordering and stuff, and that's where we initially walked up. And I saw in that cooler, and I'm like, it's scary there. I'm like, <laughs> Can we, um, can we also like buy some beers? She's like, yeah, sure, how many? Right. Four? Six? <laughs> so I didn't oh, dare to do anything more. That's awesome. Cheers! So everyone in town does this and also... Yeah. Welcome to Restaurant Alex during lockdown. Every single weekend, starting Friday at 9 p.m., going all the way to Monday morning, 5 a.m., nobody is allowed outside of their house. Yeah, very easy All right, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. So in case it goes flying with me in it, it's not going to. Just when you think you're ready to leave, you're not. 